Hey everyone, this is Margarita Monet, singer from Edge of Paradise, and this is one of our craziest tour stories. So this happened a while ago, about six years. We started touring as a band, we already did some US tours, and this was our West Coast tour coming up. And we used to tour in a van. A tour van is not the most comfortable thing. So when our bass player called up and said, hey guys, I got an RV for free. We were like, an RV and it's free? Yeah, that sounds awesome. He's like, yeah, it's really cool. It's all blacked out. It's huge. It's so long. There's so much room in there. We're like, cool. We were finally able to like stand up and walk around in there. And now after doing some tours on a tour bus, going back to a van would be really difficult. So we were all excited that it's, you know, it's going to be a step up for us travel wise. The RV looked crazy. It was like super long, all blacked out, it looked like a pirate ship. And then we had some shows before and one of our fans gave us pirate flags. So as a joke, we're like, yeah, we're going to put these pirate flags on each side. And it was set up pretty cool, actually. It had a fridge, um, had a kitchen area, you know, you know like what an RV would have. It was very old. It was very old. Uh, but anyway, so we left early. We started driving. It ran great. And we were like, cool, this is going to be our pirate vehicle. We're going to tour everywhere in this thing. And people are going to be so intimidated on the road that they're all going to like part ways and let us come through <laughs> because of how crazy this thing looked. Uh, so anyway, we started getting out of Los Angeles. When you start getting out of LA, you start hitting a lot of hills. So our first hill, the thing didn't go too fast and we were like, hmm, it's going slower than, <laughs> slower than normal. And then we were like, well, it's really old, so it, that's okay. And you know, we, we couldn't turn back. I mean, we already had this thing. So only way is to look forward. So we keep going and then I'm like, hmm, something smells a little weird. Definitely smells like it's burning. I look back, I see sparks flying. I'm like, guys, the brakes are on fire. So we pull over. Um, yeah, the brakes were sparking. Then Nick was like, oh, it's okay. It's an old RV. It hasn't been used in a while. So it's just some rust burning off or you know, whatever. So we're like, all right, let's keep going. We have to make this show because we don't miss shows. So of course you guys knew this was coming. The tire blew out. Oh man. So good thing there was a spare tire. So I should have filmed them trying to figure out how to change this RV tire because that was a sight. Uh, but anyway, we got this tire fixed. And we we're like, all right, well, we've had tire blowouts before, you know, it happens. This thing's old. We should have changed tire, this tire anyway, because uh, wires were coming out in the inside of this tire. But, you know, we have this pirate thing now, so we have to keep going. Uh, so we're driving. Um, we drove through the night because you know back then we were booking our own shows and it's not very easy to book your own shows because you take the show whichever show you can get even though it's this one's eight hours away then you have four hours away then you go back we're like all right well at least we're like getting close and of course as we said that another tire blows out and uh, our rhythm guitar player David was driving and this was David's first tour with us. This was like his tri <laughs> this trial period to see if he can last through all of these adventures. We're like, oh no, we don't have another spare tire. What are we gonna do? We were in the middle of nowhere on the side of the freeway. Half of us were like, we gotta get off this RV and try to find like AAA or something that would help us change this tire or somewhere where we could find this tire because on our phones, we were in the middle of nowhere and there was nothing to be seen. So we started walking alongside this freeway to the nearest exit to try to find something to you know, problem solve. Um, we see kind of like, a bit of civilization like I don't I don't don't remember at the time it was like a little store so we walked in and there was like deer heads everywhere and we were like do you know nearest mechanic or we'd like to get an uber 
to help us fight because we have like this pirate RV on the side of the freeway. And they were like, Uber? Like, like we don't have Ubers here. <laughs> so we're like, oh God, we were in the middle of nowhere. And I don't really, oh, it was, it was a store near a shooting range because it's kind of blurry right now because it was so long ago. But I just remember walking across a shooting ran range because they told us there is something on the other side. And to get there, we had to walk across a shooting range, jump, uh, jump over a fence, but no big deal. <laughs> so we made it. I don't know, somehow half of, us, half of us made it. Nick stayed with the RV and inched it forward and somehow got off the exit. By some miracle, we got the tire. Of course, by this time, we were gonna miss this show. And like, this was so traumatic to me because we did not miss shows. And this was the first time anything like that happened where we missed a show. But we were so grateful. The fans um, were so understanding and supportive and some of them still laugh at us because of this crazy story because the story is not done yet. So we missed the first show. We did make it to the second show, thankfully. And um, this RV was a big attraction to all the people <laughs> that came to the show. Uh, because guys like it looked insane in person it looked insane so we did some of the shows and we had great shows and we had a lot of fun uh, but of course we had another tire blowout and this time it ripped out the cable that was connected to the generator I guess the cable underneath was wrapped around this tire and when it blew it just something happened where we did not have electricity for the rest of the trip we had no air conditioning and this was in the summer and oh my god it was like a sauna in there but you know guys the craziest thing is we managed to still have so much fun on this trip uh, so I guess the moral of the story is don't let any tires or RVs stand in your way because ever since then we toured over 20 countries in Europe, we went to Japan, we went to Iceland, we are so tight with our band members and we're just so grateful to all the people out there who are so supportive and who still make fun of us till this day <laughs> for this crazy story. This is not the only crazy story by the way, so we look forward to sharing more and we just want to thank people for supporting the music, for supporting the band. So thank you guys for watching and till next time.